Hi, it's me, Pam Vanny. Top of the morning to you. I have some farmhouse charm dangles now that I've made, and I'm still on a tassel dangle mission, having fun with my beads and charms. So I thought I'd show you these, and then I'm starting a um, kind of a farmhouse. As Diane uh, Hubert says, uh, a domestic arts journal. So I'll be doing that too, showing what I started. So I've got three of them here. And this one has, you know, a little. Let's see, we'll start with this one. It's got a little gingham button and a bead and a cow bead but button, wood button. Another bead and a little metal watering can button bead and a <clears throat> apple. This one I think it's this flower here. Um, resin flower, a wood button, bead button, a carrot charm, and a bead. Another bead, a bead, and a spoon. And look at the cute little goose. Put on a little bit more. And I'll be selling some of these. Uh, I don't know when. i got to be in the mood for listing all these. It's a lot of work to list stuff sometimes. Okay, this has like the green bead, wood button bead, wood um, wood bead. What's this? Oh, wood bead. And then a little cow. Blue bead, orange button, a couple more beads, and a little tractor. <clears throat> Okay, then a red <clears throat> bead, orange button. Look at the cute little frying pan with eggs and bacon. I think that's a wood bead, glass bead button. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a yellow pepper bead and a cute little duck. So that's this one. So today I woke up and we do have some snow. So yeah, we've had a really warm winter so far. We didn't have any uh, snow for Christmas. Okay, got a cool little white button and a blue one and a tractor bead. One of these type of charms. Can't think what they're called. I'm going to go up a little bit. It's kind of a long one. Cute duck and a little uh, lime and a spoon bead button and a little flower. I have more themed dangles that I would like to make. <clears throat> Blue button, little apple bead button, little flower, <clears throat> would be this cute little cow, what's this, strawberry, watermelon and a really pretty flower, this has a bead, kind of a stone glass bead, a red button, yellow bead, Enamel apple charm. Kind of a glass bead. A oh, cute chicken. A couple more beads, a wood flower button, and a this is like a cookbook charm. And um oh and uh I can't forget. Um and then this is for uh Tassel Tuesday. I think it's the first Tuesday of the month, but um 
I'm just going to do them on Tuesdays if I do have one. But it's hashtag tass Tassel Tuesday. And it's hosted by Jovi, my friend Jovi, with uh, Creating with Jovi. And I'll link her channel. Um, got another glass bead, wood button, watermelon, red bead. A couple more things here, a little apple, cherries, wood beads, and a little flower. So that's that one. It's pretty long, but it would be fun. One more. This one. Just I like all the colorful colors, lime, little duck, gingham button, and a carrot. And this one, a little apple charm, a little gingham one, beads, wood, button, lemon, flower, and a little, look how cute this little tractor is. Very cute. This one, a little spoon. I like that fun yellow one. Blue heart button, bead, watermelon, lime, little cow, bead, and a flower. Oops, sorry, just hit it. This last one has this pretty bead. I got cherries with this fun carrot to this bead. I don't know if I showed these. I don't think so. These are the farmhouse ones. There's a yellow button, a little watermelon, a cute little skillet. And then we got the gingham button this cute cow and the, the little cookbook charm so those are all the fun things on this button charm dingle so now I'll just show you what I've been working on a little bit. I thought, well, I don't have any journals in my shop, and I've just been making charm bangles because that's kind of what I'm in the mood for, but I should start on something. So I have a few of these, so I thought I'd make a journal, and I've made some in the past. And this, you know, is your Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. And I just started it. And I did, and the, I'm going to reinforce this with a clear packing tape, the little uh, tabs here, because it's been well used. And then I just added some of the sections, like this is breads, so this is just what I've done so far. And then some really pretty scrapbook paper. I think this is, I think it's authentic. I don't know, it's upstairs, but I have two here, so you can put index cards in here. And this is just the first, um, I think I have my flash on. Okay, and then this little flower, so yeah, I want it to have like cooking, but then maybe garden. And I think I got this from somebody, guess check, a little card, and this is just the beginnings. And then, this is an envelope, and I had scanned some of my vintage quilts, so I'm probably going to add that to the little flap there. This is from a um, craft magazine or book. And then, <clears throat> in every section, I think I have, uh, you know, like this is bread, so I... Put them together to make a pocket so you would have room to put rest your own recipe cards in. Cake donuts. Another fun page from a magazine, and I'll probably add some whole reinforcers to this thinner paper for sure. And then we have a thick paper in there. Let your inner domestic goddess shine. Isn't that cute? So it's got a little retro 
theme to it. Then I have cakes. Yeah, I love this paper. And then I added a pocket. And then this is also a side pocket. And we've got uh, graph or what is this? Uh, ledger paper. And then I added some wallpaper to that. And then this is like a kind of a floral. And you could collage or maybe I put note paper there. But so I got little flowers, a little craft, um, you know, maybe quilt items in here. This is real pretty stationary. There's some fun fibers. And that opens up and got a little reinforcement here and here. And then here is the page with the cakes that you can tuck things in. Beautiful scrapbook paper that I'll do something with. A little pocket here and that beautiful scrapbook paper. Next video, I'll put what, what you know, when I'm working on this, I'll put what name brand it is, but I'm pretty sure it's authentic. I, I'm not sure, now. Anyway, here's a, some more of that fun paper, and this is cookies. And here I added a side tuck. We've got cookie recipes, beautiful scrapbook paper. Here's some florals. And a little pink with a quilting quilt pattern. Here's some cookie recipes. Beautiful scrapbook paper, and this is going to be a belly band, or it is a belly band. And we have desserts. And then we have a place that I'll put index cards or uh, recipe cards in. This is an envelope. And it has a wallpaper, more of that paper there, and a pocket. We have our kind of a recipe, recipe page with desserts. There's the scan of one of my quilts. And this is from sewing. It's how to make a bed spread. And we have pies added this section and then oops, don't you love that scrap of paper pocket place for recipe cards pies side pocket scrap of paper a little uh, crochet this is a pocket. Cute aprons. Um, this is more the apron paper. I made a pocket and this is just cute with the little animals and it's kind of bright with those colors. So I just wanted to put that in there so I know I'm going to do something with it. Here's like a Norman Rockwell of a little country school. And then on this side is another Norman Rockwell with a farm and some farmers. Here, this is from a craft book. It has apples and this pretty farm scene. And I made this a little pocket. And this next section is the meats. And we got tucks here and here. And another little Place you could tuck things in this pocket with this blue. And we have this cute little paper from a book with a little boy and his grandpa or dad, and they're in a barn chatting. And I'll put something over this. This is a little farm dairy barn. And then on this side is a little tuck here, and this is from a book. Farmer and chicken and different things and here's the tuck for that it's kind of cute with a pocket thicker cardstock and then we have poultry 
Something's there, and then I made a belly band, and I just had that, and that's chicken chili. So I just put that for the poultry. Here's some chicken paper and a chicken enchilada recipe. <clears throat> so yeah, and then I have this really cute. It's a book with Dora, and she has she's a chicken, and she has eggs here, and it's just really cute. And then um opens up here and those animals are just too cute. And it just looks kind of pretty with the eggs here and there. You could put a recipe here. You could collage on it. You could use this as a glue book. Add your own recipes. I'm not done, but just saying how you could use it. And I love this paper. Little kitchen equipment. Salads and dressings. Tuck. That looks good. Let's look at the cute little cow in there. And that opens up. Recipes. That looks good too. I've made that a couple times. Kind of like that layered salad. Wait, do I have two of these? I do. Okay, salads and dressings. Yeah, that's fine. I'll put something in between. And let's see, we have some thicker cardstock. And then I just have this card with a country scene and a mailbox. So I know I want to do something with it. So I just put that there. Oh, and here's the last page. It's a, this is a good textured, really nice uh, scrap of paper. And then we've got carrot low for the salads and dressing section. And then this opens up. You got Chris Cabbage, Carrot Loaf, cute little farm boy. And then here it opens up. I love this Norman Rockwell with the crab and the corn. He's really hungry and he wants some more corn. And look at the dog. He's looking too. So that is what I have so far. And I will be adding more things, recipe cards, and you know, that sort of thing. So, I just thought I'd show you my uh, dangle um, for Tassel Tuesday, or dangle tassel, whatever you want to call it. And then, um, yeah, I'll have the uh, link to Creating with Jovi, hashtag ta Tassel Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.